Hello and welcome back to another Flutter tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing how to handle back button in both Android and iOS. So as usual, I'll be starting with an empty template. I just have an empty container in my UI right now. So let's start. So the first thing I'm going to do is to add a new widget called will pop scope around the container. So let's add the container as a child of the new widget. Okay. So will pop is actually showing a warning because we didn't implement the the method that is actually triggered when the user hits the back button. So on will pop. So we will write a new method on back first that will return a boolean future. And on back press, we are going to return a show dialog method. Okay. So the first parameter is the context. Second one is the builder that will have the build context. And let's return an alert dialog. So we will show an alert dialog when the user presses the back button. So let's apply the title. Let's say, uh, are you sure? Okay, and the content, uh, we will say, you are going to exit the application. Okay, and the actions, let's add two buttons. So first one is a flat button. And the child is another text, let's say no. And on press the button, we will call navigator dot of context dot pop all right now i will copy the flat button and add it once more let's change that to yes and now i am going to change the parameter for pop false for no and true for yes okay let's see what happens okay i'm restarting the application and i'm going to hit the back button so alert dialog appears i'm going to click the no okay so let's click yes so that returned true so it got popped so you can use the same technique for uh, popping different screens as well so that's how you handle back button in both android and ios so that's it for today if you like the video please don't forget to like subscribe and share and hit the bell icon for notifications please leave your valuable comments below the video as well Thanks for watching.